Okay, so it's now time to model a table knife. If you followed along in previous lessons, you'll see that we've already modeled a, um, a spoon and a fork, and I've just hidden them by hitting Control H in the outliner. And now it's time to make the table knife, which is a really, really simple one to do. So let's come to our four views by hitting spacebar with our mouse in the perspective view. And there we go, right. So what I wanna do is I wanna to come to the top view and I've only got one image for this. I haven't got a side view because it's pretty simple to be honest. I'm just gonna come into the top view, view, image plane, import image. And if you've um, set your project and you've downloaded these, it should go to your source images folder and then knife top view, okay? So I'm just gonna click open and let's think about this now. We've got one, two, three and a half units that side. So it'll be three and a half that side. That's seven units or centimeters. And this should be a lot bigger. So I'm going to get my scale and I'm going to scale it outwards. Don't scale it like that because it just stretches it. Um, so scale it outwards. So that's four units. So that's eight centimeters. And that's 10 because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All oh, right, seven units each side. So that's 14 centimeters. Let's go. There we go. 14, 16, and there. That's, that's going to be fine. So that's eight units each side. And then double that is 16 centimeters. Great. Okay, I think that's kind of a, you know, a good size. We can scale it up later, if not anyway. So we've got our basic image. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with a cube. Um, I'm going to work in the top view for this. Um, and let's start basically scaling this out. So I'm going to scale it out like so. First of all, actually, I'm going to right click it and go to material attributes and I'm going to take the transparency down just so we can kind of see what's going on. And let's move this down. A really simple one to model this one and scale it outwards. And yeah, that's, that's what I want to start with. I want to get my insert edge loop tool and I want to insert some edge loops. I think what I'm going to do is go to the option box. So I'm holding my click down, go to the option box. I'm going to insert multiple edge loops and I think I'm going to go for five. So I'll just click in here and I've now got five edge loops. I'm going to turn it back to this top option, relative distance, so I can now put in any extra ones as I want. So just click off. And what I'm going to do is come back to my selection tool, right click, vertex, let's scale these outwards. So get the scale tool and go outwards like that and scale these ones outwards a touch and scale these ones just in. I think the whole model needs to come across to the right actually. So let's hit the move tool and just recenter these and recenter these ones by here just so they fit a bit better. Let's come to these and maybe scale them in just a touch and I'm going to move all of these just so they're more central and let's scale them in. So that's fine for these back ones. I now just need to scale just these ones in and also get these four and just you're basically matching it up like a silhouette. Um, don't worry about the back for now. Um, what I do want to do is I want to actually get my, I said don't worry about the back and then now I'm going to fix it. So insert edge loop. I'm just going to insert one right to the back of there. Um, let's go to the selection tool, right click, vertex, and scale outwards, and maybe just move to the side a bit. And then, yeah, I think we, we should be good for that. Um, but we'll have a look later anyway. So let's zoom in, and basically I'm going to select these, scale them inwards, and yeah, just move them to the right a bit like that. In fact, I'm going to move this, these ed, these vertexes just in a little bit more on their own and back a touch. Actually, I'm not going to move them back. Right, let's hit spacebar and come out and let's have a look at what we've got. It's quite a thick knife at the moment, but don't worry. We now need to work on actually extruding this part out. So let's have a look at that. I'm going to right click and go to face. And I now want to extrude, so hit Control E, or you can come to Mesh and, or is it Edit Mesh, sorry, and Extrude, yeah. And what we can now do is just pull out like that, just right to the end, so I'm going to come into my full view here, right to the very, very end. And I'm also just going to pull it to the right by there, just to align that back line like so. Okay, so that's what we've got. Let's have a look in here. Great, okay. I want to add some edge loops in here as well. I think I'm going to go for five again. So let's come to Mesh Tools, 
insert edge loop, holding down your click, come to the option box. I want multiple, I want five, so let's click in there. And I'm gonna turn this back to the top one so I can add ones in individually later because I probably will want to. So let's start making the shape. Let's go to our selection tool, right click, vertex, select them, scale them outwards. Don't scale from the center because um, it'll also do the depth. So scale it outwards, move it across, and tell you what, I'm just gonna move now these ones across on their own. And yeah, you don't, don't even have to scale. Let's just select the vertexes on this side, pull them out. That's probably an easy way to go actually. Select, pull them out, just to get that sort of nice edge. Select these ones, pull them out to the side as well. And then we'll come down to here and select these ones and pull them out to the side. Now we haven't quite got that nice little curved edge in there. So I'm gonna come back to mesh tools, insert another edge loop by here and maybe one by here, and come back to my selection, right click, vertex, pull these ones out, just to kind of go like that, and then these ones, I think, they're probably all right where they are, I'm probably just gonna push them in a bit, and maybe pull these down a touch, and these ones, I'm just gonna pull them down, so it's a little bit straight. Okay, so we've got our basic shape of the knife, we can look up at the top, I think I'm gonna to go to mesh tools and insert an edge loop just by here, just to maintain that sort of end. Go back to selection, right click, vertex, move them out a touch, but then with these ones, I'm gonna move this in and up a little bit just to get that kind of end and move that one up. Okay, that should be fine. We'll have a look at what it looks like when it's smooth. Right click and object mode, so we've just got the object. I'm gonna hit spacebar come back out, and I'm gonna look at my perspective view now, because what we've got is a very, very, very thick knife. Um, so we want, obviously, this part of the knife to be thinner than the handle. So if we just come to the side now, let's go right-click material attributes, or select the object, right-click material attributes, go to the Lambert, make it, um, make, it, make it a solid color now, so bring the transparency back down. And with the whole thing selected, I'm gonna get the scale, come to a sort of side view, and just scale it down all together, okay? So we've got a very, very sort of thin knife, okay? Very thin knife like that. What I'm gonna do now is this end handle, I'm gonna to start going to each of the vertexes, and I haven't got a side view this time, so make sure you click and drag over all of them. Make sure that all four points, so one, two, three, four are selected, because if you accidentally miss one, for example, let's say you select those two and that one, and you start scaling, it's not gonna do that one. So just make sure that you do them like that. So make sure all four selected, and we're gonna scale outwards to get some thickness. I'm gonna do it for these back ones as well, and something like that. I may also make these ones just a little touch thicker for the handle at the end, and I'm gonna do all these ones together so they're the same thickness, but I want the end to be a lot thicker like that, because like they normally are. And yeah, I think I like that maybe a touch more. And then it gets thin towards the end here. Um, what I do want to do is I want to select all of the edges this side to make this side of the knife, the sharper side, just a little bit thinner. So I'm going to come to where I'm looking slightly above. Shift select, I know that I've selected the top one and the bottom one because it fell in my selection, but don't select these back ones. Now holding shift, I'm gonna just carry on, add into my selection, just these front points, okay? And those ones, and then, um, have I selected those back ones? I've selected, see the bottom one and not the top one, so hold shift, just click to add, okay? And I'm also gonna shift click these two these two in. So what we should have is all of the points on this side selected, and I'm just gonna scale them so they basically, I think I had this selected, basically move closer to each other. I don't know what's going on with that little, um, I've also selected the image plane. So I'm just gonna deselect the image plane, and yeah, basically scale these points now so that they are together and they go closer together. Cool, I'm going to select my image plane and hit delete, and we now have a unsmoothed version of our knife. It's thinner on this end than it is but there, 
So let's click this now and hit three on the keyboard. And you can see we've got a really nice kind of knife. And what I do want to do is I want to go to vertex mode, uh, vertexes, and I want to make this thicker on the handle by here. Okay, just, just like that so that you can see a noticeable thickness. And let's go back to object mode. I think, yeah, I'm now happy with that knife. We've got a nice curved end, thick end, and this end looks fine. What we could do potentially is come into vertex mode. And if we were to move these vertexes by here a little bit possibly closer, it may, be, it may just accentuate that curve. So you see as I move them closer, made that curve stronger. Maybe these ones, let's make let's push that down and push these ones now closer so that bulge becomes more of a sudden fall off. Okay, so yeah, that's what I've got. It's now a sudden fall off of there. So we've got our knife done now. So let's select it, come into the outliner, Windows outliner, and double click and we'll call this knife. And we've now got all of the other objects. So if I control H, sorry, shift H, we've got these objects and our knife now. So let's select them all, control H, and they're all still there, but we can now move on to the next video where we'll make the plate. So I'll see you in the next video.